Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will show you guys a really cool homebrew app that checks your PSP for faults. And this can actually fix some stuff with your PSP as well. Um, it can fix stuck pixels, it can test a UMD drive, it can test battery life, it can test loads of cool stuff, and it's actually really useful. So if you guys want to install this on your PSP, and uh, this also works on PSP Go, but it's most useful on the originals, um, just go over to the USB connection, press X on USB connection, connect your PSP to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. So once you guys are on your PC, I will leave a link to P-Tester version 2.0 in the description of this video. It's a Brewology page, and this is a fairly old homebrew app now, but it still works pretty well, and we can still use it to find some possible faults with our PSP. So all you want to do is just click on Download File. There's just a link right here, and then it will begin at downloading the zip file to your PC's Downloads folder. So once that has finished downloading, just head over to your Downloads folder, and you will be able to find it in there. So just double-click the zip file, go into the PSP folder, go into the Game folder, and you will be able to find P-Tester. Simply make sure your PSP is connected to your PC, and just drag and drop p-tester in your PSP's game folder. So simply drag and drop it like that, it will copy across very fast. And now you should be able to find it in here, so mine should be in here somewhere. Here is mine, right here. And then you can go into it, but you don't really need to change anything. So that is literally it for the PC, literally just copy the file across. Now we can go onto our PSP, and I will show you guys what to do next. So back on your PSP, we can now go and find a homebrew app. It should be somewhere on our memory stick. And I'm just going to scroll down and just look for mine. So my one is right here. It's got a picture of Dr. Mario on the picture of the app. So just press X to launch it up. So these are all of the tests which it comes with. The first one is just the keys test. Now this one is pretty cool. If you just press X to start it up, it basically tells you if your buttons are working. So we can do left, it lets us know it's pressed. We can do right, that's working. We can do all of the D-pad buttons as well. We can even use the joystick to check if that is working properly. Um, we've got triangle, square, X and circle. We've also got the buttons down here, um, like the home button, you can actually see it being pressed quick. And we've got volume buttons as well. And yeah, it's pretty cool. This just lets you know if all of your PSP buttons are working. So you just press start to exit and we obviously know starts working. There's also a screen test. If you press X on that, what this is going to do is actually sort out your screen. And if there are any stuck pixels on there, and it will fix it. I do actually have a PSP of stuck pixels. Um, unfortunately, it's out of charge right now. I would test it, but let's just do it on this one anyway. So you just press start and it will start flashing colors. So it flashes all the colors to try and get the stuck pixel working again. So once that's over, it will bring you back to the main menu and you can just press select to go back. We've also got a sound test. So if you press X to open up that, press start, make sure your sound is turned up. It's gonna start testing the speakers. So as you guys can see, it's playing some audio through the left speaker. And now it's gonna start playing the same audio through the right speaker. So we know that is now working. And now it's playing it through the center speaker. So that is completely working and we can press select to exit. Next test is the battery test. So if we press X on this one, it's going to tell us some stuff about our battery. So it's got 50% of battery life left. Now you can actually record this. Um, I know it does go down quite quickly on this battery, so this one is dying off. And it also has a battery temperature of 22 degrees C, and it also tells you the battery volt level. So you can just press start to exit on this one. And now the last test we have got is the UMD drive test. So if you press, uh, so if you just get like a UMD drive, here I've got Little Big Planet. What we're actually going to do is just put this into my PSP for now. So let's just put this in right now. Just give it a few seconds and then press X on UMD drive test. And that will take a few seconds to load up, but it should scan your game and we know it's working. 
So it says the drive is ready and it's scanned it and it's given us the game ID and everything. So we can just press start to exit. So this is the PSP tester, pretty useful program, fix a few things, let you know if all your buttons working, sounds working, um, screen test and all of that kind of stuff. The battery test is pretty useful as well. This battery is not going to last that long, so I know I'm going to have to get a new one at some stage. Most of my PSP batteries are actually dying out by now. It's also got an about section, just tells you the people that made it and stuff like that. You can just press start to exit that. And then you can press the home button, go to quick game and press X. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this, kind of useful, if you buy a second-hand PSP and you're not sure if it's 100% working, then that is a pretty cool test that you can do. So that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.